amazing. I almost have forgot what I've come to say. I'm ready for a full-blown revival now. Hallelujah. Um, okay, so I heard a story a couple years back. It's one of my favorite stories. If you know me, you know that I love eagles. I love everything about them, and so I'd like to tell this story and a few others. So permit me to tell this story to you. There was this little eaglet, this baby eagle, and it was up high in its perch, and something had happened to its parents and they had died. So this eagle couldn't fly yet. So there it glided down, kind of hopelessly, to the ground. And there it sat on the side of the road, sitting and waiting for who knows what. And then a passerby came and saw the little eagle and picked it up and thought to himself, oh my goodness, look at this little chicken. So he picked up the chicken and he looked, he saw this farm off in the distance. So he took this little eagle over to the, to the farm and he says to the farmer, he says, look, I brought you this chicken. This is gonna be a big, wonderful chicken. Take this chicken. And so the farmer looks at the eagle and he's like, well, this is the strangest looking chicken I've ever seen. <laughs> he says, okay, this is chicken, okay. So he takes this little baby eagle and he puts it into the coop with all the other chickens. And so there's the eagle, and it learns to follow the chickens, and it watches them and learns to peck around at the ground, scratch for grub worms, and live confined inside of this chicken coop. Until one day, this beautiful bird went flying a mile above the ground, and the little eagle said to the other chicken, what? What is that? As he sees it soaring by, the chickens say to him, oh, no, don't even think about it. That is an eagle. And you'll never be like that. You'll never have the freedom, the vision that the eagles do. So there, that little eagle sat and realized, I will live the life of a chicken. And he pecked at the ground and scratched around until finally that eagle died in that chicken coop. And that story, what that reminds me of is, as Dr. Brim was saying, calling out greatness in leaders. And so much in leadership we see, we see other leaders and we see this transformation. And through, what I want to do a little bit um, briefly is I want to show you kind of our business students, what's happening in the School of Business. We are calling out greatness within our students. And one thing that I like to call myself and us is vision setters. Students come in and how can we help them set their vision? How can we ignite their passion? What is their calling? A lot of times people think, okay, business or nonprofit and then ministry. And I'm like, wait a minute, your ministry, your passion, your calling, this is what we do. We are the salt and light in the business and the nonprofit sector. Um, you're gonna hear about, you're gonna hear from, um, I think eight students, um, just real brief, just a minute each, telling us what they're doing in the business world to just rock, to rock it, to rock the business sector for Christ. And we know that there are not enough Christian business leaders. Everything we do involves commerce and business, no matter where we go and what we do, and there's a deficit. And so we're calling these leaders to a position of greatness and setting that vision. Anybody have an idea how far an eagle can see? Any idea? Five miles. Good. I like that optimism. Two miles, but I like the five. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so they can see two miles. And so it's that hope. It's that vision setting um, that we put out and put before our students. Um, when we built this program and designed it and have, have since rebuilt and revamped the program, we looked at the research and we looked at the studies and we said, and we know that students who graduate from business programs, they are efficient in accounting and marketing and all these pieces that it takes to run a business, but can these, have we created leaders who can lead? What are they gonna do with their one and only life to make this kingdom impact? So anyway, that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited to share with you a video clip um, of some of our students. Um, before I do, um, I'm gonna give you just a quick little idea of what I will be sharing. You look at a diverse, you're gonna look at a diverse group of students. We have students who are in the business program who want to plant churches. You're gonna hear from students here who they want to be athletic directors, but rocking the world, rocking the business sector for Jesus. And it's incredible because you go out and you look, some of them wants 
to be a major league baseball manager and he wants to do it Christ way. And they want to market and they want to be in a large marketing firm and they want to do marketing for Jesus in a biblical perspective from a Christian worldview. And it is incredible. And yes, am I excited? Yes, of course I'm excited. It is amazing what our students are doing. And you'll see just so many different students from different backgrounds. You'll hear one say, I am passionate about baseball. And I'm like, yes, this is our business student passionate about so many things. That is all about the strategic vocation. We are preparing students to combine their passion, their vision, their ministry, their calling with what is your strategic vocation. It is business or nonprofit or wherever the Lord leads you. So with that, I'm going to show you just briefly um, a video of our students. These are our current students. Hi, my name is Caleb Jeffries. I'm a senior in the nonprofit program here at Johnson University. I'm kind of in a unique circumstance where I didn't really know what my passions were uh, when I came to school here at Johnson, uh, but the school has definitely helped me for my passions, both the school in general and the school of business. Um, I'd love to I'd love to get a job after I graduate in a nonprofit here in the Knoxville area. Um, one of the biggest things I've gotten from my experience in the nonprofit program was the opportunity to network with some uh, leaders and other individuals who work in the nonprofit sector here in Knoxville. Uh, we had speakers in uh, in some of my classes from Emerald Youth Foundation and the Knoxville Leadership Foundation uh, that both really inspired me to uh, seek out internship opportunities and job opportunities here in town. Hello, my name is Waldo Otis Jr. and I'm a junior at Johnson University studying business with a concentration in management. Believe it or not, Johnson is my third collegiate institution so far. I've attended Covenant College and the University of Valley Forge, previously studying computer science and sports administration before now focusing on business. And I believe that the Lord has been tying off that together to lead me in the pursuit of what my passion is, which is baseball. I am a collegiate baseball player here at Johnson, and my dream is to one day play Major League Baseball. However, I understand that one day my playing career will end, and I must focus on a job for the remainder of my life, which is why I want to pursue a general management position of a Major League Baseball team. And here at Johnson, I believe that the business program here has equipped me with the skills needed in communication, management, leadership, and quantitative reasoning to be able to carry out a full-on successful position in the field of business, whether in sports or in any other sector. My name is Becca Owsley, and I'm a sophomore in the Nonprofit Administration Program. I think that as a Christian, it's important that our passions um, involve what Christ was passionate about when he was on earth, and it makes me think of Matthew 25 when he is telling the parable about the sheep and the goats, and he says, therefore I tell you, whatever you've done for the least of these, you've done for me. So I'm very passionate about doing things that involve helping those who can't help themselves, helping those who feel outcast or marginalized, which has really made me passionate about things like ending human trafficking and working with social justice missions. My name is Kenny White. I'm a junior in the business administration field with a concentration in marketing. I chose marketing because uh, ever since I was a little kid, I've just always wanted to be innovative and creative, and I know the marketing field is the perfect place to do it. Also, um, I have family members in the same field, and uh, I've just seen the success that they've had, and they enjoy it, so it kind of just influenced me. Um, the things that I've learned here is how to have a biblical work ethic, because uh, it's very important in the business field. Is like There's many situations that people be put in where they have to go against their own beliefs, and uh, here we just discuss how to like approach the situations, and uh, it's just helped me a lot to have like a better understanding of how I'll approach it when I, whenever I graduate. After I graduate, I want to uh, work with a uh, church or just any kind of organization that will allow me to be innovative and uh, just kind of help them come up with ideas of how to better market themselves. Hi, my name is Avery Jingleball, and um, I'm a youth ministry and uh, business administration here at Johnson University. Um, I have a real passion to um, be in the business world, to be a manager somewhere, maybe one day run my own business, and I also have a passion um, to teach kids about Christ through youth ministry. Um, I plan to extend the kingdom of God by hopefully one day um, either starting up my own business or becoming um, a manager and being able to work at a church part-time um, at no cost to them and do youth ministry. Um, so um, Johnson University has taught me 
how to um, show my Christian values in the workplace. Hi, my name is Dominique Harrison, and I'm a sophomore in the business administration program with a concentration in marketing. What made me choose marketing was wanting to share my ideas and my creativity with the world. Some of my passions would be serving the community in any capacity that I can, whether it be working with nonprofits or at risk youth. Um, I would say that being a Johnson, I was taught a lot about good ethics and what it means to have integrity and living above reproach and that's definitely something that I think we all should strive to do, living above reproach. Um, when, after I graduate from Johnson, I plan to pursue my master's there, actually the MBA um, in leadership and then from there I get my PhD. My name is Logan Markham and I am a sophomore in the Business Administration program here at Johnson University. Uh, through my last couple years of high school, I got very interested and passionate for the art of uh, filmmaking and I decided to pursue that, originally starting with a degree in videography, but later on uh, moving to Business Administration to hopefully increase my job security and give me the necessary skills in order to hopefully own open up my own film studio. I want to do this because I want to be able to make films that deliver the message of Christ in a way that appeals to those beyond the Christian audience and in that way help extend the kingdom of God beyond where it can normally reach with filmmaking. And something I've learned throughout my few classes here that I've had so far, I've learned many different skills that will hopefully help me to eventually reach my ultimate dream of becoming a film studio. Uh, executive. Hello, my name is Taylor Gilpin. I'm a sophomore here at Johnson University. I'm studying the business uh, administration program. Um, and then one of one of my main passions is that uh, I love sports. I've been around sports my whole life. Uh, it's something I've always enjoyed doing. And so um, when I came to Johnson, I found out they had the business administration program. I, I found out that I could talk to my roommate. I could use that um, degree to pursue an athletic uh, director job. Uh, so one, one of my, my plans for the future is to work with an athletic program, um, to be uh, part of a team, because I think that one thing I've learned here at Johnson uh, through, that, uh, through, the, um, through the program is that it's all about teamwork, it's all about unity. Um, I think that's uh, a lot about what our uh, calling is as Christians is to, to be a team and to um, work together. And so uh, what I'd love to do is after college, I'd love to be a part of an athletic program work with with players work with uh, other other people and just work as a team and use that as a mission to also grow in Christ and to to further God's kingdom hi I'm Cody Derringer I'm a nonprofit management major here at Johnson University um, through my experience these past few summers at Wonder Valley Christian Camp uh, I believe God's calling me into Christian camp ministry um, through the suggestion of my boss I've decided to take on a nonprofit management degree here at Johnson. After I graduate, um, I hope to continue going on into camp ministry, whether it be at Wonder Valley or another camp. Um, but I've learned a lot through my degree here. Hi, my name is Lauren Shears, and I am a proud alumni of Johnson University's nonprofit administration program. I graduated in December of 2015, and I now work at Johnson University as an admissions counselor. I am so thankful for my undergraduate education in nonprofit because now that I work at a nonprofit, it's really great to have the background knowledge on why nonprofits are the way that they are. And I feel like I'm at an advantage because I understand the unique challenges that our organization faces as a whole, and I can help meet those challenges in a constructive way. Um, I'm really passionate about higher education. I'm hoping to pursue graduate studies in higher education administration. And I can't wait to extend the kingdom of God by helping young people and adults finish their degrees and become more prepared to enter the kingdom of God. So that was a snapshot of our students. Um, I just, what I love, 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 and one of the greatest differentiating factors um, within the School of Business is our students are doing kingdom work in the business and nonprofit sectors, and it is so incredibly exciting for us to be a part of and for you to be a part of. So I'm going to turn it over now to 